Hello world! Welcome to the fifth episode of Let's Play Hades. Last time the sound was a bit weak. That's why we will revert it to half power or half ish. And let's hope that both my voice and the sound of the game is clearly heard. Last time we defeated the Hydra, so that's why I will uh, increase the hit level by one. We have invested our darkness, nothing too weird. We have to gather some keys actually to unlock uh, the extra money and the the extra life the keepsake is going well I think with uh, 90 life will be okay and this will be the first episode using the Varatha one of my favorite weapons Okay, this is going to be very useful later on. Uh, this is useful right now, but I will take the multi skewer. That's why I want the multi skewer. Multi skewer is a very efficient attack. Well, it's an efficient attack uh, when there are multiple enemies. So, with multi skewer, I think that uh, Dionysus' boons uh, are somewhat better, and that's why we'll pick Dionysus. Because imagine with our special when we poison every enemy in the room not like every enemy since we just do three bounces but it's enough nothing really strong we'll take the special key or darkness Let's take advantage of our 10% bonus damage, bonus darkness. As you can see, we poison people that we didn't actually target, which is nice. It's generally nice when enemies die on their own and we don't have to do anything. I think the sound is weak. Just like our weapons. Okay, okay, I, w I wonder why I stayed and fought there. What was that? Oh, okay. Three enemies is my favorite number to get. To get. The other, the others died.
Easy fight. What was that? Oh, hello. Oh, a poem of power. That's cool. More poison for us. Eh, forget fighting. We'll just run. We will just kind of run. Okay, let me... No, no, no. That was not a good idea. That was a very, very bad idea. Okay. We just got hit once. No biggie. And a hard level. Ah, I hate those. Yeah, these two aren't so bad. I can defeat them relatively easy without getting harmed. See? No biggie. What we are hoping for here. Oh, forget it, you are gorgeous. Yes, I'm interested. Hmm. What do we pick here? Her wrath is garbage, in my honest opinion. I don't like it. I'll take the strike because Dying Lament is all is also garbage. Its uh, area of effect is very small. Her attack, it's not so bad. Darkness or hard darkness? Let's go with the easy darkness. Now let's talk about the first boss of this biome. What happens if we get not our friend Meg, a boss I can easily defeat, but uh, one of the other two? For example, Alecto. I really don't think I can defeat them 100% of the time. And if I happen to lose against uh, those two, Alector T Siphony, I won't begin another run. The episode will be a bit shorter, but short episodes are fine as well. Darkness, okay. Darkness or key? I'll take the key since it's easier. As I said, it's easier, kind of. Yeah, it was easier. Palm of power or two booms. I'll take the two booms and hope for the best. The 
that's uh, that's not a nice gift to get because uh, we stuck the blight slowly by the time we stack the fourth uh, poison we lose all the others I think I'll take the nasty dust because after party is not such a strong boom either but nasty does it's a fast way to poison the enemy see he just got two stacks it's a it's acceptable it's an honest it's an honest boom And this is why, guys, I took the power of Daedalus to strike multiple targets. The multi skewer. Oh, Low toll. Oh, that's interesting now because our dust uh, stacks the poison. 10% damage against the already weak enemies. Nah. I'll take the, the duo power and it's already time for our fight I kind of wish it wasn't okay prepared to die here I'll take everything I'll take the that's interesting I'll take the special take the food and I'll take the darkness and should we die here it's okay Megara come on Megara yes hello Meg but you are my practice partner and you are a fool Oh man, poisoning here is so good. Sometimes I make myself sad with the hit, with the kind of uh, hits I receive. See, that was something sad. And makes down. Asphodel with full full life. Now that's something. No, no, no. Buying a, an infernal trove tracker doesn't sound to me, you know, a fun thing to do. It's like paying 50 gold for an opportunity to get 
I don't know, 100 gold, 120, minus the time you kill the enemies. And the faster you try to kill the enemies, the more life you are about to lose. So, you know, it's either like, wow, you gained 20 gold, or uh, you gained, uh, I don't know, 100 gold, or and you lost a lot of life. Whatever, it's not worth it. I prefer to just find them for free. So, when using uh, the Varatha to poison people, not actually to poison people, you only have to hit the most, uh, the closest one in order for it to be useful. See, he almost died. And I didn't even know where he was. I wasn't aware of his existence. Gold, Lolorai, or life. I'll take the life. I don't like you. And neither do I like you. Okay, a lot of BS happening here. At least he decided to kill himself. One of my favorite enemies to get with the Vara with the Varatha and poison. You can see why. Extra life. A free trove. Should we push it? No, I don't think we should push it. Money, Athena or life. I'll take Athena, thank you. What have we not upgraded right now? Our auto, our normal attack is upgraded. What else? Our special is upgraded. Oh, our, our cast is not upgraded. I don't know. Sh should we take Artemis? Artem ah, not Artemis. Athena's spoon on our cast. Let's see. What does he have to offer? In previous. Hmm. Three seconds of immunity. If used the right way, I'll take it. A hard room with Zeus or a shop. I'll take the shop. I hate hard rooms right now. And voila! A chance to get... I don't know... The bombs... Maximum life with... Uh, with Ambrosia... That will be good... Let's risk it... k rounds I like that... Okay, this has the ability to get really out of control. Let's take it. It's a more expensive uh, uh, centaur's heart.
but it can become much much better only two strikes Ugh. weak Life restore is not useful right now. So, a hard room or a pump of power? Easy question. For the previous reasons, I will avoid uh, fighting a hard level if we want to defeat the Hydra. Something that we can't do right now. Even even though we don't have the road damage, other time other times, like other times, yeah, I, I should have dodged that. That's the spot. Our build is more like a utility build. She was unlucky. You do not turn your back uh, on Zagre who is holding a melee weapon. Four seconds. Oh. Oh, it extends the seconds of immunity. Of course, we are picking that. And now, this is where Dionysus Boon pick pays for its value. So, we gave 150 gold for 40 life and 2 Abrosia bottles to which I shall add why not ok we have to keep in mind that whatever we pick now in, from the Charon's well is gonna stick with us mm, I do not like this level at all Yeah, thanks for playing with me there. Uh, that that was rough. Okay. Free Zeus boom. Or a shop. I'll take the free Zeus boon. Or a poem. Ah, I take the I'll take the boon. So we could take a Hydra Light to restore 50 life. Or we could take a Death Defiance and restore 36 life when we die. 
No, wait. This won't restore us 50 life. This will restore us 30% for the two rooms we're going to enter. Yeah. This restores 20%, this restores 30%. It's an easy pick. And we'll take the free Zeus boon because there is a small probably a small possibility that uh, it will give us the faster charge rate and that will mean we get to be immune for more time yeah that's enough Greek mythology thank you yes that's what I was looking for electric shot is only 10 damage more this is kind of interesting that's a lot of damage but we have only one uh, fake life extra life and that's why we'll take the strongest of the two but last time i won i think okay the strategy here is poison the hydra from afar see it's already losing uh, a lot of uh, hit points we bullet break those arrows of hers relatively easy and we try to do the same The strategy is pretty straightforward. The only thing that is uh, a bit worrisome is uh, the multi arrows. I don't think I have uh, an easy way of dealing with those. I think I'll just have to dash and uh, stop them. Or, uh, you know, I'll deal uh, damage fast enough so that the Hydra doesn't do that attack <laughs> okay I think I pressed the dodge, but okay, no biggie. I kind of want to witness how far we get our wrath. I think that trick works too. I love being tricky. Wait, does the poison actually give us... Uh, oh no. I think the poison actually gets our wrath uh, goes uh, filling up. I don't know. A lot of uh, wave maker heads. So much hate in the world. 
Okay, only two heads to go. Let's do an experiment for science. Okay, we need to poison the Hydra first. Okay, the, the poison actually makes our bar fill up. I love science. And the only reason, of course, I could do that science is because I have already won. In case you are wondering. Nice try, guy. Do I get any bonus for the style victory here? No. Could I have uh, defeated the Hydra having picked other booms or other powers? Maybe. But this game is about picking the best or what you feel the most comfor comfortable with powers. The reason I won here is because I knew what I was picking. In my other save file, where I have unlocked every power I can, I just, you know, do whatever I feel like. I don't pick the optimal boons. I don't always do that. And I do that while battling in uh, 45 hit level. I just won the 45 hit level. I won't do the story... story thingies. I'll just go and power up. So, 110. I'll take another life. And next episode's weapon is... The sword! Yay! Okay, that was for... That was it for this episode. And until next time. Bye bye!